uh, that George Sedini guy, you know, that uh, nutcase went nuts and shot up a fitness center. I know that we think he's just some guy who feels that life screwed him, so he decided to go out in the blaze of glory and do some bloodthirsty massacre to at least get on the news. Even though he'd be dead for it, so, you know, he wouldn't even get fame for that. Alive for his own 15 minutes of fame or shame. The saddest thing is I kind of understand where he's coming from. I mean, uh, he thinks that he has everything together. You know, he has a job in a nice place, responsible, and yet he doesn't have a woman. I, on the other hand, well, I don't have a woman either, but uh, I don't have a job. You know, I'm still looking. I've been job hunting, and I've even had to modify my resume, and it's tough out there. For me to <coughs> Sorry, to get a job. But I digress. <laughs> I don't know if there's any real lesson in this. I mean, he's dead, sadly, and blah, blah, blah. But I guess in life, there's shades of gray, like... Just like there are, he couldn't find a woman, there are plenty of women, attractive women who can't find men who really see the, their needs. Because some people want a lover, you know, a sexy lover or something, or a hot, charming lover. Some people want a friend, you know. And with a friend, that means that they know your quirks, so they can, they're okay with you being gross or with your weirdness. And you know, they're more open, so they won't leave you for the next attractive, charming woman or man. So, you see, there's pluses and minuses to both. My only... I guess with this whole George Sedini guy, I really do feel for him in a way. I mean, well, sadly he's dead, so his problem's solved now, you know, since he's dead. But... I guess what I'm saying is... What I'm trying to say is... Well... Why? Like, why did he... Well, why didn't he at first go to, you know, uh, overseas, save up his money going overseas? He could have gone overseas, like, to China, Japan, or Vietnam, like, especially the poor Asian countries, where he could have made some friends and snapped up a woman in an instant, like they'll marry you to get off this island. I mean, off the poor country. So, uh, she could have done something like that. And I know it sounds sexist or racist, too, but he could have gone to Costa Rica, South America, Mexico, any of those nations to get a woman. And it would have worked. Well, most likely. You know, he's an okay guy. And he could have been himself, you know, quirks, good and bad. Uh, any of that. So... But second, he could have uh, just been casual with people, not looked for a date, you know, made a few friends, did some community things, or went to, not necessarily clubs, but go out and see public events, you know, like see private events, or check out organizations, what they stand for, you know, meet people, basically have his fingers in a lot of pie and hope something turns up something, which could work. You can't just sit go to work and, you know, the same routine and expect to find someone. Though some people have, you know. If you want something that you've never had before, you have to do stuff you have, you've never done before. Uh, I know this... So... I mean, I've actually talked to a lot of girls online. And, uh, a bunch of them has... I'm friends with some of them, and some of them have dumped and blocked me. And some of them I was really good friends with, but they dumped and blocked me, like, after in a fit of rage or something, overreaction, etc. So, it's, so I guess I have had, even though it was an internet relationship, uh, I still feel kind of sad that was one girl I mailed letters to that were no longer friends. I mean, we had a blowout, or, well, she did, she said she was disgusted by me, etc. But... That's why he should focus more on making friends. My opinion is that with relationships, you need to focus on making friends. Male and female friends. First. This way, you know, it's deeper. 
and you know, like it'll take a lot more than one of you foul stepping once to really break it up forever. You know, like they'll be more willing to forgive each other. So I know that's somewhat different than the George Sidney thing, but sadly this guy had a rough life. He felt well, at least he did score since he has had sex, but I guess you know hasn't had sex in years, so it made him go nuts. Uh, and I had gross fantasies, which we all do. But I guess he decided, well, at least he didn't rape someone, so he went, well, he went to a club and killed three people. So, that's kind of worse. All I really can say is, it's tough out there for women to equally, so, people, take it from me and I, have never had a girlfriend, really. Last time I had a girlfriend was third grade, so, but I'm okay. Of course not perfect, but you know. So people just stay tough, make friends, save up your money, explore, explore new parts, you know, do things you've never done before, and maybe you'll meet someone by accident. That's actually how I met some of the really good friends that I made. You know ones I'm no longer friends with, but you know.